Well, there's a high incidence of ACL injuries, particularly in women. Uh, some people seem to be genetically predisposed and how confusing it was to decide on graft choices and return back to sports. ACL surgery is evolving as far as we are deciding graft choices, tunnel placement, single or double bundle grafts, and fixation systems. ACL rehab is also evolving from immobilization, accelerated rehabilitation, sport-specific rehabilitation, and performance ACL enhancement programs, which we'll talk about today. The most common question the doctor and the athlete has is when they can get back to competitive play. The literature is quite vague on this. There's reports as early as four months to approximately a year and a half. The answer is much more complicated than you would think because it involves many things with the ACL injury. There are factors the surgeon can control. One is the mental aspect, and that is the patient's acceptance of the injury and the emotional fortitude to proceed with the commitment of recovery. Another factor the surgeon can control is the knee status, and that is to obtain adequate motion of the knee prior to surgical intervention, to have decreased swelling, and return of the quad and hamstring control. Finally, the most important thing the surgeon can control is to do a technically competent procedure. That is to avoid intraoperative or postoperative complications, get excellent tunnel placement with excellent fixation. The other thing that drives when an athlete can return to play is the severity of the ACL injury. The severity of the ACL injury matters. A low, isolated ACL injury without a meniscus tear, without a conjure injury, with no collateral ligament injury, and a small bone bruise will ultimately have a better result and recover much quicker than a high energy injury with an ACL tear, large bone bruise, chondral defect, a meniscus that requires repair or resection with an associated collateral ligament injury. These things take much longer to recover and this will change the timeline compared to an isolated injury alone. Other factors that determine return to competitive play are things such as the position that the player plays. Obviously, if you play offensive line, you can get back sooner than if you're a defensive back. The sport is important. Basketball will take much more time and is much more difficult to get back competitively than a sport such as alpine skiing. Genetics plays a part. There are some people that recover much quicker and do much better with rehabilitation and healing than other people. And finally, luck and motivation are a factor in recovery from ACL surgery. I've also found in my experience, graft choice makes a big difference in recovery time. Fastest is allograft, contralateral hamstring autograft, equal morbidity and recovery is ipsilateral hamstring graft and contralateral bone tendon bone graft, and the slowest is ipsilateral bone tendon bone autograft. It became pretty apparent early on that there were no um, prevention programs for post-operative ACLs. Most, most of these programs had, were geared for prophylactic injury prevention. We decided to go ahead and start a program to accelerate the recovery after ACL surgery. Programs were out there to help prevent ACL injuries. There's been research for 10 to 15 years, preventive programs, particularly in female athletes. We incorporate a lot of these principles in the recovery and rehab after a reconstructed knee. And we've made this a part of our program after ACL surgery to take the principles that were used to prevent ACL injury and incorporate into our recovery. Most of our patients that have been through the program um, express nothing but satisfaction as far as their abilities to return to their sport. In fact, many of them have demonstrated increase in their vertical jump height increase in their power and uh, strength that uh, exceeds their pre-injury status and their knees. The feedback I've gotten from patients that come back after completing this program versus the more traditional rehab, the patients that do this program have much more ownership in their rehab than the people going through the what I call rehab burnout of going to a physical therapy, working on motion as well as strengthening and getting very bored. This program gets them much more involved it allows them to set goals and they actually see increase in gains of things better than their pre-injured knee. My recommendation is to consider this ACL enhancement program as part of your ACL practice. My experience in dealing with hundreds of patients, they come back quicker, stronger, and with more confidence 
and it's a great way to give them ownership in the rehab process. This program has helped me because there are a lot of good surgeons in my community when the difference on how I do a knee versus how they do a knee sometimes is very small. But I think a lot of my patients do better not because of my technical abilities, it's because of what I do after the surgery is to get involved in a program like this. They do well by getting good strength, function, and confidence, and that makes me look good.